running. There he is, blood, gore, intense, violent, nudity. I just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hello, hey, everybody, how's it going? and welcome to this week's tabletop game with Digital hey. Woods. Hey. We are doing a thousand point game, uh, as with all of those, and higher points. If you want to see full army descriptions and rules for the mission, check out the link in the description below for the pregame show. Right down there. Otherwise, we will be jumping straight on to the action with some Imperial Guard versus Necrons and a meat grinder mission. Yay! All right, and this is the deployment and setup for the meat grinder mission we are doing. The Imperial Guards are defending, Necrons are attacking, and as it stands, the Imperial Guard will be going fist. So we are about to do the bombardment special thing. Once again, if you want to check out all of the army descriptions and rules for the mission, check out the link in the description down below for the pregame. Otherwise, begin your primary bombardment for yes. this meat grinder. Uh, and a quick possible apology. I uh, hope Tom will manage to cut out all the times I've managed to sneeze on camera. But I'm feeling a little under the weather, so if I sound weird, that's why. So let's just start from this side and go that way. So preliminary bombardment for that unit. Oh, by the way, real quick, if I roll a six, it goes off. Yes. Because I didn't some, say that. Some sort of mortal wounds. Uh, one, or AD6 mortal wounds. Next is that one. Nope. The tank. Nope. Nope. Time for another dice. Command squad. Command squad. Nope. Nope. The company commander in. Oh, company commander. There we go. Nope. That's a okay. one. Second grenadier squad. Nope. Nope. Time for another new dice. Heavy weapons team. Nope. Nope. Tank. Found. Nope. Nope. Telepath. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Te telepath got it. Uh, go to ground? Yeah, which makes it a, a D3. D3. Yeah. Uh, do we just do the damage now? Uh, let's finish all the D6s. All right. Quick. For him. Got him. Uh, might as well go to ground with him as well. All right. For this one here. Nope. And for the bird, which I'm really hoping it goes off. No. no. Okay. So I got two. Mm-hmm. It's not terrible. I will use the one point stratagem to make that round, like half it. <sighs> Alright, so he can't die from this. Yes, I'm making sure both cannot die from this. So here's the D3 for the him. I got a four. Which makes it a one. Which makes it a one. So now for him. Two. Okay, Vindicator took two, so he's got three left, and he's got two left. Yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, it's now on to your first turn and movement. Well, I'm oh. five up to see if I get my command point back. Ah. Which I do. Oh, wah. All right, well, in that case, on to your first turn. Okay, turn one movement for the guard. Vindicator stayed put. Fanned this uh, grenadier squad out a wee bit, just so all of them can see through their barricade. Tank stayed put because of everything being nice within range. Command, command squad and commander stayed put. This squad stayed put. Basically, they're all out of line of sight there to keep them safe. Heavy weapon team stayed put. Um, Astropath stayed put because he literally couldn't move. Hellhound moved out. This Vindicator stayed put. This company commander stayed put. Uh, I rolled a advance, but I got a one, so it's not enough to get him into the next bit of cover, so I left him in there. My Valkyrie flew off, going as 45 inches to that side of the table. Getting ready to pump some rounds in over there. I feel like it's just peering just over that mm -hmm. one little crack in the building. Yeah. It's like, oh, hey there. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it for the movements. On to orders. He is going, this company commander is going to give take aim on these guys. And he, through the Voxcaster, is going to do first rank, second rank on them. All righty then. And then on to rolling some dice. But you need some. I'm going to start off by using a one point command point called Pride of the Firstborn, which adds one to a unit's hit rolls for shooting. Boom, nice. and put it on this tank. It's a one point command thing, so on a five up, I get it back. I do not. I have five left. Alright, for actual shooting, 
Uh, I'm going to start off with the Vindicator Sniper right here, firing into your Crypt Tech. All right. He's got one shot, hitting on a two. Hits. And then wounding. Well, that is going to do a lot of damage. <clears throat> yep. First off, dead shot. If he's targeting a character and he rolls a six up to wound, uh, it becomes d6 damage instead of three damage. In addition, you do not gain any involve saves against it. And it always wounds infiltrate on twos. So, a d6 damage. Alright. Um, you know what? One command point. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> yep. Eh. Yes. Good for me. On a five up, we get it back. I don't. Not. I have four left. Alright, so that's one damage to the crypt tech. Uh, you said mortal wound? Uh, no, it is regular damage, but it is AP3. And you don't get it involved. Which, I think I've got a four up, or the four up so it becomes a seven up, which yeah. I couldn't make. Yep, he just takes one. Okay, uh, then I'm gonna move on to the Punisher tank. He's gonna stick his Punisher cannon into the Warriors, uh, his two plasma cannons into the Ghost Ark, which I am gonna supercharge them. All right, and his heavy bolter. Uh, I'm going to also put into the Warriors, just to make sure I get rid of my Warriors, yeah. yeah. So, let's start off with the Punisher Cannon, firing a total of 40 shots, so here's the first 20. Hitting on threes, because of the Vembrain Firstborn thing that I did. So. Nine hits. For the first the yep. volley. 11 misses. That's that's pretty poopy for the first volley. Alright, second volley. Seven misses. So that's 13 plus 9. So 22. Yeah. Well, here's the 20. It's strength 5, so I'm wounding on 3s. 1, 2. I'm just going to re-roll these. For the extra two? Okay. Six, eight misses, so a total of 14 wounds. Ah, all right. No AP. So that'll be 14 four ups. Four ups. And I'm just going to, because that's the dice I have, uh, do them in groups of seven. Okay. So for seven. Uh, you made one. Yeah, I did. Okay. And the second seven. You lost three more. So you lost nine. Yeah. All right. So there's one left. Um, which means I'm probably going to lose him to... Uh, a heavy bolter. Well, was, the, the running away. but already Running away, but heavy bolter. Yeah, so three shots from the heavy bolter. Hitting on threes. <laughs> Wounding on threes. Two, and with an AP minus one, so two five ups. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so that's a squad. That, that is a squad wipe. Okay, and then next is the two plasma cannon shots that were being supercharged into the ghost arc. Two shots hitting on threes. So one hit. Sorry, I did that wrong. That was a two. They're D3 number of shots each. Ah. Did a micism there. Rolled the... like, that, that felt weird. Yeah, they're D3 each. So four shots. Now they're hitting on threes. And because I gave plus one to hit rolls, uh, one is technically a two. Two. Mm. Mm. So I don't have to worry about plasma venting. That still feels squiggly. So that is three hits. All right. And looking for threes to wound now. Two wounds with an EP minus three. Oh. In that case, I don't think I get to save. All right, so I don't have get any save for those, mm -hmm. but I do get quantum shielding. Shit. Yes, and it was two damage each, so. So, uh, first one. Any ones? Nope. Any ones? 
Nope. nope. So four down. Next, I'm going to do this group. Uh, they're going to fire their las guns, their sniper rifle into the. Uh, actually, yeah, I have to put the plasma in there too, and the plasma gun all into the uh, immortals. All right. So, take care of the two las gun shots first. Hitting on uh, threes because they're veterans. Rerolling ones because of take aim. Two hits. Looking for fives to wound. Nothing. Um, I said the sniper. Into my, all right, yeah. Sniper hitting on a three. Wounding on a four, I believe. That's not enough. And the plasma gun, which I am going to supercharge because I get to reroll ones. All right. Hitting on a three. Wounding on a two. And that's AP minus three. Which probably means... A six up save, because they're... Ah, yes. Armor three. Six up. Nope. So, dead and mortal. Yep. I'll pull one. All right, well, one dead. All right, next, I'm going to have the auto cannon crew sink some more shots into the Ghost Arc. All right. It's three shots. No, I'm sorry. Six shots. They have two shots each. Hitting on fours. Two hits, not particularly great. And strength seven on these guns, so I'm still looking for threes. Two, and only an AP minus one. All right. So five ups. Yep, two five ups. Made both. Day, yay. This guardsman group, a couple of them can see some warriors, so I'll gather up how many can shoot the warriors. And some do which? Uh, these guardsmen's into your mortals. Sorry. <laughs> okay, from the squad, only two las guns and the one grenade launcher guy. I can see him kind of weaving underneath the crashed gunship. So, I'll let us do the two las gun shots first, hitting on fours. One. Winning on a five. Nope. I'm gonna go ahead and fire the frag grenade launch round. D6 number of shots. Three. Hitting on fours. Two hits. Wounding on fives. Two wounds. Hmm. Two three ups for you. Two three ups. One goes down. Yeah, and then this unit is going to have to go into the immortals because they really don't have much else. The grenade launcher is going to fire a crack round into the ghost arc. Uh, starting off the las guns into the warriors. Total of six. Keep saying warriors, they're immortals. Total of 16 shots because of the first rank, second rank. Get back here, you. Hitting on fours. Looks like six hits. Fives to wound. Two wounds. Two three ups again. Two three ups. Both. Sweet. One crack round into the ghost arc, hitting on a four. Nope. Okay, that's that. Um, fired them, fired them, fired them, fired them, fired them. Can't shoot, so that is the last thing to go. All right, the bird. Mm hmm. Yeah, probably multi laser into the immortals and then the twin rocket pods into. The, no, I'll put the twin rocket pot. No, they come back in twos. Everything into the walker. Everything into the walker? Everything into the walker. All right, starting off the shooting into the Trark Stalker. Three shots from the multi-laser hitting on fives because it moved. One hit. It is strength six, so I'll look for fours to wound. Nope. From the multi-rocket uh, yeah, multi pods, it is a D6 shots each, and there's two of them. Ten mm. shots. Ow. No, they're only hitting on fives at the moment. So, hitting on fives. I see four. I think it was only three. Okay. And they're only strength five, so wounding on fives. Two with right. AP minus one. All right, so it'll be two four-ups. And... One wound. And I do believe that is all the things I have to fire. Alrighty then. That means, because you can't charge anything. Nope. 
It's on to my turn, turn one. Yes. Hooray. And before my turn really starts to kick off, I have to do the sustained assault roll because I lost a unit last uh, round or Tom's round on a two up because it is a uh, a troop choice. Mm -hmm. I get this troop back. You do. I do. And I'm going to use two command points to uh, put basically deep strike it. Outflank. It's Outflank. It's, uh, I can bring it, usually I'm supposed to only be able to bring it in from my side of the board, six inches. Mm -hmm. uh, this allows me to pick any side of the table, Other as long as it is not Tom's six, side. Yeah, it can be within six inches of my line. Yep, so I'm probably going to put it right over there. Yep. And uh, I'll put that down and then get in, oh, no. Nope. Five up I get a command point from him using a stratagem. I do not. Oh, yes. You're both at four. So I'll put that those guys up and then get right on to my turn and reanimations. Right here is where I've dropped them in, um, outside of six from his side, and within six of mine or on of this table edge. Mm -hmm. Getting ready to shoot his dudes. Yep. So on to reanimations. I've got two to make for the group of immortals, and I. I don't, think, don't think they're within the three inch. I should have left those ones there. Then that way they would have been. Oh well on my part for not thinking ahead. So two five, five ups. Got one I got back. one back. Not bad. And now on to movement and such. All right, and here is where my army has moved up. Treyarch Stalker shifted forward over to here to get a wider view of shots. Immortals moved up, basically the same reason. These two moved up with conveniently everything just about in front of them. Uh, Ghost Dark moved up to provide uh, support as well. And I made a slight oops. Technically, these should be uh, brought in after the movement phase. Yeah, at the end of the movement. At the end of the movement phase. So uh, that was a misconception on my part. Oops, I will do it again from rounds hereafter. Mm -hmm. uh, so there they are. And with the movement done, I'm going to drop in my death marks. So they'll pop in in just a second. And all the way at the other end of the board, here are where my death marks showed up, right behind his enemy sniper. And this... Company commander. Ah, company commander. So that's Necron movement on to shootings. And I guess I'll start out with this group. I've got 10 dice, all hitting on threes. Oh, hold on a second. I wanted to split up these shots. I'm about to get dice happy. I need to stop it. So, there we go. I'm going to have five, or I'm gonna have five go into the company commander and then five more shots go into the sniper. So I'm going to start with the sniper. Five shots hitting on threes. Fives. On fives. Stealth suit. Minus two to hit him if he's in cover. Oh, well, damn it. I should have gone all ten into him. <laughs> I love knowing these things after I roll. Thank you, Tom. Uh, all right, so one hit. Wounding on a four. Sixes is a mortal wound. Uh, three, so nothing happens. And then the five into the company commander. Hitting on threes. Two hit. Or, sorry, two miss. Alright, on wounding on threes. One. Oops, sorry. Get him back up there. One. One five up either armor or invul. No, so he takes one. This side of the board, with this group of Necrons, I'm going to have all of their shots go into this Vindicator Assassin Sniper yep. Vindicator dude. Assassin. Vindicator Assassin. Uh, because I've just learned that they are hard to kill when in a building. Yes. Um, so, just starting with groups of ten, hitting on... Five. Yes, because he's hard to hit. Mm -hmm. 
Hitting on fives. Missed five. Five hits so five far. Five hits. And your second volley. Ten more. Another five. Oh, yeah. So. Ten hits. Yeah. Wounding on Ten fours. possible wounds. Wounding on fours. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This could do it, Sonny Jim. Okay. Six four up invults. No, well, he's not dead, but I think he's got one wound left. Alrighty then. Alright, now into this group. The Treyarch Stalker is going to fire first at the tank there. The Punisher. The Punisher. Don't forget you moved and then it's a heavy weapon. It is a heavy weapon. Thank you, Tom. I would have forgotten. So, uh, two four ups. I'm spending one command point. Use the stratagem when your opponent in the shooting phase uh, selects one of your units as a target. He is going to take cover, because it doesn't say infiltrate. Oh. He gets plus one to all his saves for the rest of the phase. <laughs> that is some excellent maneuvering of a tank to uh, waddle the treads back and forth <laughs> to dig himself a trench. <laughs> so what does that do? He gets plus one to all his saves until the end of the turn. All right. So five up, I get that point back. I get that point back. All right. And that's from my warlord, that point thing, grand strategist. All right, so two four ups. Two you misses. Didn't need it. Do you want a command point either one of those? Ah, uh, for his thing, all I need to do is shoot at it. Yeah. I will use a command point though, because... It's a 50-50. It is a hit. Uh, it is a hit. Five up, I get a command point off of that. I don't see... No, nope, it was a four. All right. So you're at three, and I'm at four. Now, to wound, uh, it is strength nine versus your tough... Of, I think, eight, so threes. All right. I know it's not nine or better. Yeah, it's eight. All right, so three up. Oh, yes. Hits, or wounds... Okay, I get a six up save now. <sighs> Alright. Do your uh D six. Uh, it's only three. And speaking of three, that is how many command points I have left. Alright, next I'm going to have the Ghost Arc go. Mm -hmm. Same target. So oh, I forgot to say something. And I said this off, off camera. I did do uh, my will be done on uh, the immortals. The only infantry group. The, the only infantry group. So that did happen. Yes, you did say it off camera. So um, I just need to say it on camera more often. Mm -hmm. So next is going to be the ghost arc shooting at the same target. The vindicator. Or the, yep. You want to shoot the no, no. The the tank. The Punisher tank. Punisher tank. That's that's what it is. Ten shots. Hitting on threes, so nope. There's two ones. So converting one extra. Two. Yep. So six hits. Wounding on. I am tough eight versus so your strength four. four. So six is the wound. Yep. Woo! Got one. Okay. Three up save. Got it. All right. Gotta love that tick cover. Yep, and then lastly is my Immortals with eight shots going in. All hitting on threes. Threes. Any fives or sixes convert extra hits because of Tesla? Yep. Fives or sixes? You get plus one to hit from My Will Be Done. Ah! Try to. Don't forget you get to reroll ones. So that's all, at least one one. So with some uh, quick looking back and rules checks, uh, I'm actually hitting on twos, two ups. So all of these hit. Three of them are getting extra Jeez, hits with Tesla. them. And then I get to reroll these two ones because I'm shooting the same target that the truck stalker shot. Which that's one more extra hits and another hit. So, so two, four, six, eight. 
plus four. So you get a total of 16 hits 16. on eight shots. Nice. Five up for the 16. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And nothing for re-rolling wounds. So, seven. Okay. And that will be seven two-ups. Ah. Three up plus the take cover, and you have no AP on Tesla. Nope. So, one damage goes through. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, did I use my command points yet in this shooting phase? Did I, you did the, the cover thing? Yeah. But I don't think you... I haven't done the command point reroll. So I'll go... Because it's a two-up, might as well. Yeah. Uh, two-up. Yeah. You got it, and then Five you up. get it back. No. So I'm at three as well. All right. Um, That is the end of my turn. On to guard turn two? Yep. Okay, movement for turn two for the guard. The one company commander jumped down a level and ran out through the window. The hellhound backed up its 12 inches to get into burn it distance. Vindicator stayed put. Heavy weapons team stayed put. Astropath stayed put. Uh, some jerking up here of just guys moving around to get slightly better angles. This guard squad moved over six inches. Punisher stayed put. Guard squad moved over a little bit to get in rapid fire with everything. Vindicator stayed put. And across the board, disembarked the guard squad and the Inquisitor from the Valkyrie. And the Valkyrie is now in hover mode. So, that is that. And on to some psychic, psychic phase. I'm going to start off with the Inquisitor, casting Terrify on your walker. Oh no! What does that do? Make it do a uh... minus two to your leadership, and you cannot fire Overwatch. Yeah. All right. How many points do you need? Less well, than that. Well, you got eleven. So <laughs> way less than that. And I have no method of countering, so you I cannot, cannot shoot Overwatch. Mm -hmm. So I can charge you, which prevents you from firing that guy for at least another turn. Damn it! So next is going to be. From the Astropath, he's going to cast Night Shroud on them. All right. Each? That's going to be more than enough. I think it's like a six. All right. Uh, what that does, it's minus one to hit this unit. Fair enough. And since I moved him out in the open to get some more shots going, so might as well give him that extra protection. Yep. Okay. Orders time. This company commander through the Vox network is going to give them first rank, second rank. Why not? Yep. And I think he's going to do exactly the same thing for this unit. Just plenty of more shots. Yep. All right. Now on to the actual shooting times. I'm going to start off with the Vindicator Assassin putting a round into the uh, Crypt Tech. All right. One shot, hitting on a two. Ooh. Uh, do you want to re-roll yeah, that? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend the point. Got it. So you're now at two points. Do I regain it? I do. You're now at three, three points. points. Uh, wounded. I hope you keep a tally in like the bottom left for... Extra command points. Yeah. Okay, and then wounding on a two, and a six does more. A six does more. Do more. So that's uh, going to be D6 amount of damage. Ugh. Which is again a one. <laughs> All right, so... And I'll push, go ahead and put that on him. And then the other Vindicator Assassin is going to do the same thing. Same shot, hopefully a lot more damage. So hitting on a two, wounding on a two. Okay, well, uh, take your D3, two. Okay. You didn't get a six to wound, but you did it equal did amount damage. of that into your turn, so yeah. All right, so that's that. Uh, on to the actual shooting. I'm going to start off with this guard squad rapid firing into that. Before I actually shoot anything, I realized I didn't quite say where all the shots are going. The last pistol and last guns are going into them. The grenade launcher is going to crack grenade into that. All right. 
So here is the. Do you mind if I roll the two the one extra last gun shot with this last pistol shot? Go ahead. Last pistol. Oh, we'll show that on screen. Which one's the last pistol? The big one. This one. Okay. So a total of thirty-three lads related shots hitting on fours. Ten misses. Ugh. So twenty-three hits. Ugh. Wounding on fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Looks like seven. Six, seven. Yep. Yep, that is seven four ups then. Looks uh, like four go down. Yep. Yeah, all of these guys. So, oh yeah, I need to take care of the crack grenade real quick before we move on. Crack grenade going in. One shot hitting on a four. Uh, wounding on a four. Hey. Yeah, all crack things. One six up. No. A D6 damage. Five. Ow. Well, you're quantum shielding. Yep. Which you ignore it all. Yep. All right, and then this unit is going to do basically the same thing. All the last guns, the pistols out of range, obviously. The I'm gonna fire another crack grenade into that. So it's going to be 16 last gun shots. 16 last gun shots hitting on fours. Not as good, but can't complain. And then fives to wound. Two more five. Two more wounds, potentially. Two four ups then. One more goes down. No. Boop. Crack grenade. Hitting on a four. No. Okay, so that's them. Did the vindicators. Yep. Alright, uh next I'll have the company command squad go. Uh the sniper will go into the cryptech. The two las guns and the plasma gun will go down into the warriors. All right. So two las guns hitting on threes, wounding on fives, one wound, one three up. And one goes down. Yeah, I said three up. Uh, I meant four up. Yeah. Plasma gun. I am not supercharging. Hitting on three. Nope. Okay, glad, glad I didn't. I didn't, glad I didn't. <laughs> didn't supercharge. Okay, and then the sniper. Uh, hitting on a three. No. Okay, uh, company commander with his 30 inch range bolt gun. It's gonna fire a shot down there. All right. Hitting on a three. Uh, wounding on a four. There you go, four up. Four up. Nope. Another one. Damn it. Bink. I'm at 7 out of 10, so mm -hmm. I have to make a uh, morale at the end of this if you don't somehow kill the rest of them. Well, you're definitely going to have to make a morale. Oh. Put the Punisher everything into the Ghost Dark. And I am going to spend a command point for the Bush Guy and Pride of the Firstborn thing to give it plus one to hit. All right. So, do five. You get, do you get it back? Yeah. New. I'm down to two. Starting off with the Punisher cannon, 40 shots hitting on threes. Eight misses. Nine misses. Sorry, my math is wrong. Thirteen misses. Fourteen misses. Wow, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Ignore all that. That was a lot of misses. And then this is going to be fives to wound. One, two, three, four, five, six. This was a five, seven, eight. Yes. Eight. So eight four ups. And like with one, two, three, that four. Ah, four. Four in. And they're all just one damage a bomb. Alright, sad face. Okay, uh, the three heavy bolter shots hitting on threes. Two hits. One down on fives. One. AP minus one. Five up. One more damage. 2d3 heavy plasma cannon shots, and I am going to supercharge. All right. So, one miss, one hit. And 
and what? no, sorry, that was once two D threes, so, so three th shots, because one was a three and one was a, a one. And you're supercharging them. Yes, as I said, uh, hitting on threes, three hits. Jesus Christ. Wounding on threes. Two wounds with AP minus three. So they just go through. They just go through. But I get to do the... Yeah, and they're two damage each. So, two. Um, hopefully for one for quantum shielding. Yes. That's one that goes away. And the other. No. So two damage. Not dead yet. It's got four it's left. It's got four left. Okay. So that's it for most of the shooting over here. Jumping over here, the last cannon crew is going to pump their six shots into that. All right. Six shots, hitting on fours. I'll take four hits. Wounding on threes because it's strength seven. Three wounds with AP minus one. All right. So it'll be three five ups. They all go through, and they all do two damage piece. All right. So I'm just going to roll them all at the same time. Both for ones for quantum shielding. And that four is a go through. dead ghost go stark. Just enough. Does it explode? Um. It does. Yes. Whoosh. Oh. I need to look that up because it's, it's, it's a. I think it's a six inch bubble. Oh, uh, probably. All right. So six inches of explosion. And it's going to be a D3 damage, or mortal wounds, mm -hmm. for each group. So that'd be for the Cryptek, the Overlord, and the Immortals. But Cryptek only has one wound left, so he's dead. I don't even have to roll for him. Overlord. Takes three. Takes three. And the Immortals take one. So that's one dead Immortal. And... He's got three on him. And now for this fun, I'm going to remove this, put down everyone that well, would... Well, they disembark before you remove it. They follow normal disembark. Ah, all right. Well, then in that case, I will disembark everyone and then remove pick the... who yeah. dies. Yeah. All right, so here's how they disembarked. Uh, and now I need to do 10d6, for e one dice for each of their number. If I roll a one, uh, a, a model dies. So let's find out. And two. two. Two die. So I'm just going to pull the ones at the back. Fair enough. And yeah, then this goes away now mm -hmm. for a time. It may be back later, but not yet. Okay. So the rest of your turn then, because you still have things to shoot. Next thing to shoot is going to be the Hellhound to melt these guys. No! Starting off with its 2d6 Inferno Cannon. Six shots. And this is auto hitting and wounding on threes. Ball wounding. Mm. So AP minus one. So a bunch of three ups. Four, no, four ups. B6 four ups then. Ooh, pretty good roll. I lost one. Mm hmm. There's a fire. Mm -hmm. Boop. And then three heavy bolter shots, hitting on fives. Two. Two. Wounding on threes. Two. And AP minus one again. So, two. Four ups. Four ups. Yeah, well, you made a decent number of four ups there. Yay! Guards firing all their lads related weaponry into the immortals. Hitting on fours. Uh, seven hits. Oh, wow. And um, five to wound. One. And you have a two up save because you're infiltrating in a crater. All right. Two up then. I made it. Okay. Uh,. The Inquisitor will fire his bolt gun at the Immortals. He's not in rapid fire. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Your two up save. Made it. Okay. Uh, which means last for shooting is going to be 
the Valkyrie, who's going to put all of its shots into these warriors. Oh no! So I will start off with the multi-laser. Um, three shots hitting on threes. Three hits. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. Two four ups. Two four ups. Yeah, there you go. 2d6, number of multi-missile rounds. Only five. Wounded, oh, I'm sorry, hitting on threes. For only three. Then wounding on threes. Yep, get back here. Wounding on threes. Two with an AP minus one. So two five ups. Two five ups. Makes you fail one. Yeah. That could have been so much Boop. better. Uh, that's it for my shooting charges to declare. I'm going to send the uh, guard in, and I might as well... Nah, I'll leave him out. All right. So the guard going in, you have no overwatch because of Terrify. They made it. They do. Another charge to declare is going to be my um, Hellhound. Going to back ram the uh, death marks. Beep, beep, beep. So you get your overwatch. Yep. With my eight shots. Hitting on sixes, wounding on fives. Sixes. I got two. I'm not tough eight, I'm tough seven, so it's still five to wound. Fives. I got one. I got one. One three up armor. Damn. Okay. I need a nine inch charge to make it into base contact. Well, you got a three and, and a, a five, five, which is enough to put me in that one inch margin for eighth edition. Yeah, all right. Okay, and that's it for charges. So on to fight. I'm going to fight first with the guardsmen and pile in into the mortals. All right, with the pile in, I put one guardsman here after the charge just to be able to get closer to them than the thing. So his pile in goes into the immortals. He's tripped into the immortals, mm -hmm. thus tying them in melee. So I have eight guys in there, include, uh, nine including the sergeant, so that's going to be ten attacks onto that. Which, I'm going to get lucky and do one point of damage, which you're just going to repair anyway. Yeah. So ten attacks from those guardsmen into the triarch, hitting on fours. That's okay. Uh, wounding on sixes, because they're only strength three. Not a one. Not surprising. So, do you want to spend any two points to do any interruptions? No. Or? Okay, fair enough. I'm saving that for something that actually matters. Yeah. He's going to pile in. Rotate! Get them caught in the corner. Basically. Their guns are preventing me from actually moving in, so... He's basically here. Yeah. It, meh. <laughs> so his three attacks, hitting on sixes. None. All right. Then I suppose, because we're already here, I'll start here. These group of death marks hitting on threes. One hit. One hit. Sad face. Wounding on fives. No damage. Nothing. On over there. I think I will start with the... Immortals? Immortals first, because I feel like you'd pull that one guy. Uh, probably not. Eh. I'd have to leave them in melee for the start of your turn, so they can't shoot. True. But either way... Three attacks. Three attacks. Er, yep. Three attacks hitting on threes. Two. Wounding on threes. One. One. One, four up, armor. Sorry, five up, armor. Still made it. Yep. Hitting with threes on the massive forelimbs. Do you want to spend any command points? No. Wounding on a two. <sighs> Wounding on a two. <laughs> I... <laughs> You're not going to spend any command points? I have three. Yes. Yes? And I have two. I will spend one command point. Okay. There we go. Do I gain a command point on a five up? I do. Damn it. Uh, your AP minus one, you said, right? AP minus one. So a six up armor. A guardsman's flak vest survived that thing. For bam! Owie! 
You get a promotion. That's it. Um, For uh, my turn two, on to Necron turn two. I do believe I have some uh, morale. Yes, yeah, so you have a morale here, and you only lost four. One more yeah, would I have had a morale. So, what is it? Three and lower. Three and lower, you're fine. You're fine. I'm fine. And then now onto my turn, turn two. Necron, turn two, reanimations. Start with this group of three. Hopefully I'll get seven back for these five ups. Got two. Better than I thought. There we go. Can't argue. Nope. And for this group, I've got one, two, three, four. four, five, six, seven. Wait, what? You lost. That's, that's, you, you know, sorry. Apparently lost three. I thought you lost four. So did I. All right, so three five ups. You got one back. Yeah. So two and one. And immortals. for the immortals. None? None. And the one death mark. Yep. Death mark, five up. Nope, that's a one. And lastly, before movement, I'm going to have uh, my overlord do my will be done to the immortals. Now on to movement. All right, so Necron movement for... Turn two, I could not fall back the uh, Treyarch Stalker. I have decided not to fall back the Immortals because they can just throw in more hits, maybe free the Stalker faster. Overlord has moved up, ready to Let's shoot see. and charge, hopefully deal with all those, maybe Put go fight with him. him. Just a reminder, minus two to charge through craters. True. But he's kind of close anyway, so hopefully that won't yeah. be too much of an issue. Move, shifted a little bit, moved up a little bit, uh, preparing to get him. Hope oh, he needs to die. He's got one wound left, and they're just gonna make that stop being a thing. Pretty much. Then all the way over here, they've all moved back outside of an inch, so they've fallen back out of combat. Hopefully, for what's about to happen, Ghost which will be very nice if I roll a four on the... Uh, Whether it returns for the ghost arc. Yes. I just, uh, what is it? Something advance? Um, something assault. Sustained assault. Sustained assault, yeah. So, sustained assault, ghost arc, I'm going to go for that first. I need a four up. You got it. Yes. So the ghost and arc. I'm going to use the two command points. To have it come in. To have it come side. in on this side, and it can see through this window here to shoot at it. Mm -hmm. And so. hopefully ruin the tank. Yes. Now, it's not the best thing for ruining tanks, because it's still just you still Goss looking. rifles, but still. Yeah. It's more shots than none at all. Mm -hmm. And then... And your cryptic. Yes, cryptic. Which is a two-up, which I got a six, so it's coming in. Four-up, because it's not a troop choice. I thought it was just infantry. It's troop choices. Oh, okay. Well, then never mind. I needed a four up, and it's going to show up somewhere on this side of the board. Because so. you're out of command points, but that reminds me. On a five, again, yes. command point. No. So after the sustained assault, I had my ghost arc pop in here, ready to shoot the ever-loving crap out of that tank. And my crypt tech popped in right here. Coming from this side of the table, six or less than six inches, mm -hmm. ready to shoot the flyer and then charge him mm -hmm. because he's a character and I cannot shoot him. Ah, uh, then on to shooting. So let's start with over there. Just think ten shots into the uh, vindicator. Yep. So ten shots. Into the Vindicator, hitting on fives. I four see hits. four hits. And then four to wound. Uh, he's now farther away. Up a bit. You had it on, in line. Yeah. He said, what? Forced wound. Forced wound. Three. 
Nice. Okay. Do I end him? Four up saves. Yes. Uh, command dice reroll. Oh. Damn it. Do I get it back? No. I right down to two. All right. Ooh. The sniper lives for another round. Do you put... Uh, you don't have to put the whole unit into it. You can dedicate a number. I know. Mmm. Damn it. I'm going to put two of this group into the sniper, and then the rest are going to go into the... Okay. So that's four shots. Into the sniper hitting on fives. Yep. One. One. Oh, you You'd better. Four up the wound. No, no. of course not. All right. So next I have one, two, six three, left. six. So 12 six. shots. 12 shots hitting on threes at that entire group of guard. Looks like four misses. I missed one, two, three, four. And there's a four over there. Mm -hmm. And then threes to wound. Threes to wound. And you roll that one. Oh, I missed that one entirely. All wound. That, that is a lovely number of sixes right there. Go ahead and give me this grouping. No. And you always roll really well when it's with my dice. And then six up saves. Uh, I save one, so four, seven will die. So. One, yeah, okay. everyone but the special guys. All right, next I'm going to have my overlord fire his uh, staff of light at now the inquisitor. I he is technically the only close the closest model that I can shoot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's because the other ones are locked in the melee. Three shots. Hitting on, I believe, twos. Yeah. All three hit. Wounding on uh, strength. Yeah, you're five. Yeah, I'm five. I'm tough five, so let's go with threes to wound. Yeah, I'm not tough five. I, okay. I, I'm either so. three or four, and it won't matter which one. Cool, so threes to wound. All three wound. That means three six up saves because he's only got a four up. Because he's not technically manning that ruin. Yeah, so he's going to take three damage. Sweet. Uh, how many wounds does he have left? Two. Ah. And next, the Cryptek is going to shoot at the Flyer with his three shots. So Cryptek hitting on threes. Two, Two hits. I'm tough, easily six, seven. Wait. So. Uh, does he have hard to hit? He is in hover mode. And wounding on... Uh, fives, because I'm six, seven. All right, so fives. So one possible wound, which is more than I thought I was going to get. Um, a five up save, because he's got three armor. Yeah, he got it. All right. And... I almost forgot. Last thing in the shooting phase to shoot is the Ghost Arc here, firing into Tom's Hellhound with 20 shots. Hitting on threes. It's a lot of ones and twos. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hits. Wounding on fives. Fives. Well, that looks like two. That is two. Okay, two four ups. Hey, he takes two damage. Oh, yay! All right, and that's the end for shooting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to declare a charge. Okay. I'm going, or a few charges. I'm going to have the Overlord go into that group of guard. Yep. And uh, the Cryptek go into your uh, Inquisitor. Okay. Uh, Quizzer has Overwatch, so two shots with his bolt gun, hitting on sixes. Nope. Alright, and then the distance for the Overlord. Now this is minus two because he's in a mm -hmm. terrain. 
I'm pretty sure that two inches does not get me to that man. Yeah, or within one inch of that man. So we'll measure that out and find out just to make sure. And now for the Cryptek going into your Inquisitor. Totally makes it. That's 11 inches. Okay. So measure and then move. All right, so starting off this melee with the Overlord, who did actually manage to get in with a two inch charge. Um, so three attacks hitting on twos. Damn. Wounding on threes. Yep, wounding on threes. Definitely wounds. And AP minus two, so that's gonna be just some dead guardsmen. So that's two dead guards. And I'll pull these two, which is not enough room yet for your two to get out. Nope. You're just gonna pull them in uh, stutter step, aren't you? Absolutely. Ugh. I want to keep that locked up as long as possible because <laughs> it's got anti-tank weapons and it's important to your army. Yes. All right. Next is no. Next, I have to do the ones that charged, which would is be the cryptech with his one attack. So. One attack for the Cryptek, which is hitting on threes. Yes. It misses, and I have no command points. Mm -hmm. Next, because then we go from the charge, charged two. units to... One you choose, and then it goes to me, and then... All right, so I'm going to have the Immortals go next. Okay. Because why not? So Immortals, three attacks hitting on threes. Three hits. Wounding on threes. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. Two five ups. Eh, another one dies. Where'd that other dice go? I can't see. There it is. One more dies. And now your attack from uh, someone. Um. This guy? I'm gonna do the guardsman because there's none of other melee guys that can do damage, so I'm gonna do the guardsman next. Alright. Um, so, one, two, um... I've got three on my side, there's three on your side, and there's the one guy right there. So, and... The sergeant is the one you charge, so... Three attacks onto your overlord from the... Two from the sergeant, one from the guy next to him. Got it. So I'll take care of them. Hitting on fours. Uh, wounding on a five. No. The one guardsman into the immortals. Hitting on a four. Nope. Nope. And then that leaves four attacks into the Triarch. Sixes. No. And next, the Triarch Stalker with its... Massive forelimbs! With its three attacks of its massive forelimbs. So hitting on threes. Two. Wounding on threes. No. Two. Twos. Because you're, well, you're above strength six. Yeah. Both wound. Two six ups. Oh, two more guardsmen. Yay. And, Boop. And then I'll pull the one from the immortals to have them uh, not in melee so I can shoot at them. Yeah, fair enough. And that is the end of my turn. I don't believe there's anything left. Uh, my I, real quick... I missed only with ones. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, you only, you only missed one attack and it was with a one. All right. And my uh, Inquisitor gets to strike. Ah, yes. Inquisitor into the... Uh, Cryptek. Hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because you're fil filthy Xenos. So two hits. Filthy. Um, and then wounding on fives because he's only strength three. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's got no special melee weapons, though. And now it is the end of my turn. No, oh, some morale's from me. Ah, all right. Uh, this unit uses loses uh, d6 because the leadership seven lost seven. Five. And all they have left is three. So yeah, let's pull the unit. Yay! And they lost five with a leadership of seven. So one and two, they're fine. They're fine. Damn. I was really hoping for that one. E. Yeah. And on to your turn, turn three.
for turn three movement, starting off, uh, fell back with the Inquisitor and embarked in the transport. Just rotated the transport, uh, the Valkyrie in place. Uh, kept the Guardsmen locked in combat over there, buying another turn, locking that down. Over here, Vindicator stayed put, Punisher stayed put. This Guardsman squad moved over six inches. The Astropath moved over six inches, keeping kind of pace to put some Psychic out. Uh, the Heavy Weapons team stayed put. This company commander advanced two extra inches to get within range to finally actually start doing some orders. Uh, stayed put with this to barbecue and shoot, and Vindicator stayed put to shoot. All right. So, I will start off with Vindicator from all the way over here, sniping the Cryptech. You're not giving any orders? Oh, yeah. Orders. You're not doing Psychic? Yeah, sorry. Jumping ahead. Jumping ahead. Um, psychic is first. Night Shroud on that unit. Because I can just barely make it, and I'm not worried about you shooting up there. All right. So, uh, seven is enough to get it. So, minus one. Uh, yeah, minus one to hit that unit. All right. Uh, that's it for Psychic, because the other Psyker has board the, boarded the transport. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> orders will be first rank, second rank on that, and take aim on this unit. And then the heavy other weapons? Guy, the guy will do take aim again uh, as well as on that. Cool. Now... On to the shootings. Yes, and your snipers. Starting with the Vindicator all the way over there into the Crypt Tech. Got it. One shot, hitting on a two. Yeah. Nope. Yes. Command point. Hit. Do I get it back? No, I'm down to one. Uh, wounding on a two. A wound. And then... Uh, I ignore Inval, and I do... It's AP high enough yeah. to go through. So, D3 damage. Only one. This Vindicator Assassin into the same target. Alright. Hitting on a two. Where is that? There it is. Three. Uh, wounding on a two. Wound. D3 damage. One. Wow, good job, Vindicators. You can do it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, next is going to be this unit is going to fire all of its shots into the five man blob. Oh no. So there are three in rapid fire. So 16 last gun related shots with the three in rapid fire. So hitting on fours. Wounding on fives. For three. Three four ups. There you go. Three nope, go down. dead. Uh, a fried grenade round from the grenade launcher. D6 number of shots. Four. Hitting on fours. Four hits. Wounding on fives. For two. Two four ups. Here we go. Two four ups. Another one down. One left. Okay, next is going to be the company command squad. I'm going to put the two LAS guns into the remaining uh, warrior. The plasma gun and the plasma gun is going to go into the immortals and the sniper is going to go into the cryptic. cryptic. Alright. So the two LAS guns hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Both hit, wounding on fives. One wound. AP? No, it's a last gun. Four up. He's alive. Okay. So I'm half wishing he really would just die already, so he can respawn the whole group. Well, you can choose to do that. Or you can choose to remove the whole unit. Yeah. Um, and then will be the plasma gun. I am going to supercharge because I get to reroll ones because of take aim. Yep. So hitting on a three. Hits. Strength 8, so I'm wounding on a 2. Wounds, and that's just going to be dead, one dead immortal. Yep. And then the sniper into the Cryptek, hitting on a 3. Rerolling ones because of take aim. Still miss. Oh. 
Okay. Um, might as well take care of his bolt gun. I'm going to try to take care of that guy for you. All right. So one shot, hitting on a three, wounding on a four. No. Damn it. Tried to help. See, because now I, on my turn, I have to get rid of him. Yes. Which then, it takes a full turn and for him to get back. Yes. Next is going to be the tank. Yeah, might as well put the tank. Um, the... Put, put it all right here. Just right right here. Yeah, no. Uh, the Punisher Cannon and the Heavy Bolt are going to go into them. And I'm going to sick the two Plasma Cannons across the board into the Immortals. All right. Um, and I'm going to spend my last command point to allow it to... Reroll? Not reroll, plus oh, one to plus hit. plus ones to hit. And a five, I get it back. No. no. That and is that, it. That we is it. We now no longer have any command points. Here comes the 40 shots from the Punisher Cannon. So grinding advance into that squad of warriors. Hitting on threes. Pretty sizable miss, but can't quite argue. And threes to wound, because of strength five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen wounds. All right. On to that, that group, group of, of set of eight warriors. Seventeen four ups. Here's ten to start off. That was pretty good. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Four. So four die from the start up. Roll the other seven. All right. Just that. And here's the other seven. Five plus the four, that's nine. That's the unit. All right. The two plasma cannons, which I will supercharge because I get plus one to hit. So yep. D3 number shots each. Four, three. Hitting on threes, all hits. Wounding on twos. And I think that's... More than likely the squad. Two five ups then. No, and that will be the group of immortals done. Boop. All right. Okay, so that's that, that, and that. Um. Your tank over there with its five, or with its uh, flamer? Yeah. I've got these guys which haven't fired yet, which I'm just going to put into the ghost arc. Six shots, hitting on fours, re-rolling ones, because I take aim. Five hits. Wounding on a three, because strength seven. So four wounds with AP minus one. So that'll be four, five ups. Three go through, leaving two damage each, so you got three quantum shield saves. Yep. So hopefully three ones. Hey, one. So four damage. So the Inferno Cannon going into them. 2d6 number of shots. Number six. Mechanized racism. Threes to wound. Yeah, only three. AP minus one. So three four ups. All right, well, there goes three death marks. That's uh, kind of what you wanted anyway. Eh, yeah, they're kind of stuck in that hovel. And then his three heavy bolt rounds going into the ghost arc, uh, hitting on fours. One. And wounding on a five. No. no. Uh, so is, is he within range to shoot anything? He's got a last pistol. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, I think that's it for... No, the have, vehicle? Yes, the vehicle to go. Start off with the multi-laser, three shots, hitting on threes. Two hits. Strength six, so wounding on threes. Two wounds, no AP, so you're two three-ups. Two three-ups. One, one And then his multi-rocket pods, uh, D6 each, and there's two of them, so 2D6 number of shots. Five. 
five shots, hitting on threes. Okay, and that's three, and he's only top four, right? On the I think so, yeah. So threes to wound. Okay, two wounds with an AP minus one. So some four ups. Two four ups. And down he goes yep. again. Bleh. Claire charge. Oh. Alrighty then. Uh, uh, hold on, I, I get my Overwatch. Yeah. Two shots, I think on Yeah, yeah, I got one. Five to wound. No. Don't Bink. Me. Just because I don't want you to get the sniper shot on another one of my characters. Yeah. Uh, yeah, then I guess it goes to charges, so Tank goes first with his three attacks hitting on sixes. Hit twice. He wounds on three because he's strength six. One, your three up armor. Hey! There you go. He's dead. Three inch will put him right there, which I think is just out of one inch. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm fighting you! I swear! Over to there. Your um, guard. My guard. Uh, the sergeant puts his two attacks into your uh, overlord, hitting on fours. One hit. One down a five. Hey, he wounded. Here, three up save. Three up. Hey, he dealt one damage. Oh no. He had. Oh yeah, he has got three. I basically denied your living metal for a turn. Aw. All right, and then the four remaining guardsmen into the uh, soccer hitting on fours. Just roll this again. <laughs> Hit it, wounding on sixes. All right, my attack back, starting with the Overlord, three attacks. All hit. All hit. Wounding on threes. Yeah, because you're not strength six. No. And AP two, so that's just going to be two dead guardsmen. Yep. Uh, at, th at this point, I won't be able to keep you from falling back anymore. So I'll just pull these two. Yay! It's just, I need to keep you locked into melee so you have to fall back. Yeah, true. Now, can I kill the last three? Three, yes. <laughs> Come on. Hitting on, I believe, threes. Nope. Damn it. Wounding on twos. Damn it. Definitely not. And a uh, six up armor save. No, one more dice. All right, one more dice. Regular guardsmen, no. Uh... Bleh. Well, bright side, I can fall back. Yes. Not so bright side, you're going to charge me again on your turn. Just to hold me up that one more We're between time. <laughs> yep. Uh, I need to do a morale on them. Ah, all right, good. They lost three, leadership seven, so anything four or below. Yeah, they're fine. Ah. Sergeant with a leadership of seven. All right. So I believe it is on to my turn, turn three. Uh, yeah. So starting off, Necron turn three with reanimations for this lonely, lonely warrior. Nine five ups. Got one. I got, there. I got one. Okay. Well, all right. So Necron movement. Um, I'm gonna have these two move up, and this is a last ditch before they die horribly. Try and kill him. Um, fine, I'll, there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, like, wait a minute. I don't think they can see him. So, they shift into, they can actually see him, but yeah. they're still within their movement of five inches. These two are going to stay put, and those two guardsmen there. Uh, he moved out of, I'm not really, did, I, did you actually charge him? No, I was an inch and a half away. Okay. So he shifted over to shoot all of his guns at the Vindicator Assassin right there, trying as it is the closest model. Yep, and trying to take out my Vindicators. Yes, I would have been doing it to your other uh, guy who can give orders, but the Vindicator is currently the closest. Uh, now on to seeing 
who comes back. Mm -hmm. So let's go with death marks. On the four? On the four. Nope. Nope. Get rid of that now. Get rid of that now. Uh, the warriors, a group of warriors, they come back on a two. <laughs> and my Immortal. immortals. They come back. They come back. And your cryptic for the second. Oh, time. yes. Cryptic. No. no. So your death marks and cryptic do not return, but your troops do. Yes, and I'll uh, put them down and show you where. Here's where they ended up, ready to shoot the yep. flyer out of the sky, hopefully. And that's where I'm actually going to start the shooting phase. You know what? No. I'm gonna, spend the I'm gonna start the shooting phase right here. Four shots. Four shots, hitting on fives. I've got one, mm -hmm. which is all I technically mm -hmm. need. Wounding on a four. Wounding on a four. Do four yeah. up. Four up. And he is dead. Finally. I got him. Yeah. yeah. So onto this lovely, lovely bit of shooting. I'm gonna have uh, the immortals go first. Okay. Is there ten shots? Yep. Why not? Ten shots from the immortals hitting on threes. All them sixes. I missed once. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. seven, eight, nine, Whatever. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen shots. Fifteen hits on ten shots. Alright. Wounding on fives. It's a lot of twos. Looks like five. One, two, three, four. You said wounding on fives? Yeah. That's just four. Oh, okay. I thought you had four No, there... Nope. Not that I saw. Okay. Okay. And a three-up armor. Three-up armor, because I still had five dice in my hand. Takes one. And now for the immortals with their yeah. 20 shots. Warriors. Damn it, you have me doing it now, too. <laughs> so, 10 shot. I'm just going to do it in segments of 10, because that's yeah. the dice I have right now. So, 10 shots, starting it off, hitting on threes. One, two, three, four, five hits. Yep. Second volley. Winning on super, hitting on threes. Looks like six hits. Seven hits? Seven I hits. Three? I thought I pulled four. So, total of 12 hits. Yep. And then once again, wounding on fives. Because I am not tough eight. Okay, so wounding on fives. Two. One, two. Right. And then with an AP minus one, two four ups. Yeah. Hey. Three nice. damage. Not bad. The most common result for rolling 2d6. All right, then on to the 20 shots of the ghost arc into the Vindicator Assassin. It's 20 shots going into the Vindicator Cat. Vindicator, what the huh? The Vindicator Assassin mm -hmm. hitting on fives. Ooh, seven. 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 Mm -hmm. Wounding on fours. Wounding on fours. Three. Three. Alright, well if I make any of these, he's still alive. Three four ups. Wow. Yeah. Is he dead? Yeah. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Yes, I've now defeated both the Vindicator Assassins. Mm -hmm. Um my cryptic should be able to live around now. So on to the melee. Uh start with your overlord. Yes, uh, Overlord! Hitting on twos. All hit. Wounding on threes. Two. And that's the last two. Yep. Eh. There we go. And now the Overlord can... Consolidate. Consolidate. Was it three inches? Three inches towards the nearest enemy. There we go. 
He's just shifted towards the dis. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, I think that's the end of your turn. Wait. I got no morales. Alright, so on to your turn, turn four. Movement for turn four. It feels way later than that. I move this into fly mode and move most of its 45 away. Stay over there, guys, for a couple turns. How many wounds does this have in total? <sighs> like 12? Ugh. It, it's a flying tank. Yeah. And now, like nine, maybe. Yeah. Okay, uh, this Guardsman squad just shuffled into place to man the barricade. Ignoring uh, these two for the most part. No, they can last gun them down. Yep. Uh, tank stay put because. Tank. Tank do. Command squad and. Tank do. And the um, company commander staying put. Uh, tucked the other company commander in here along with the astropath. So they are not the closest to anything. Ever, because they're literally underneath someone's larger base. <laughs> And move the 12-inch uh, um, Hellhound over to... Burn and then charge? Yeah, tickle it. <laughs> <laughs> tickle it. The flamer isn't going to be particularly great, but hey. Uh, yep. Psychic. Nitro. Oh, yeah. Put, putting Nitro out on that squad. Cool. I got it. It's the warp charge like six or seven, so... You got it. Mm-hmm. Orders, take aim, take aim, first rank, second rank, on a shooting, um, guardsmen, them. All of them? Uh, I'll lob the crack grenade again over there. All right. So, one, two, uh, eight las guns with four shots each. Rapid firing those las guns on... Give me that. Rapid firing the las guns and firing the pistol along with it. Total of 33 shots. <laughs> You're losing them. Three on fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On 33 shots. Wow. Eight on fours. Eight five ups. One. Yep. <laughs> All right, my four up. Hey, you failed it. Yay. Well, I already said the crack grenade's going over there. I kind of wish I could shoot it at the uh, <laughs> one remaining guy. So one shot hitting on a four. No. Okay. Uh, let's go to this Wait, squad. Wait, isn't grenade number of shots? No. Or it's only grenade, frag. Yeah, frag is D6. Crack okay. is... Yeah. Moving on to this. Uh, sniper into the overlord. Oh, yeah, there is one more sniper I need to take yep. care of. He's in a squad, though, so he's a little bit tough, tougher to kill. Yeah. The two las guns into him, and the plasma gun into... Uh, the Treyarch? The Treyarch. So, the two las gun shots, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Wounding on fives. <laughs> About that. All right. Uh, the plasma gun, I will supercharge because it's re-roll ones. Hitting on a three. Strength 8 versus your 7, so 3 is to wound. Okay, with an AP minus 3. Alright. I think that's a 6 up. I think so? No. 2 damage. And quantum shielding. Yay! Yay. Sniper shot! Hitting on a 3. Uh, wounding on a uh, 4 or 5. I will actually have to check it. And only a strength four and not auto wounding on two, so no damage. All right, so that's them. Uh, bolt gun down. All right. Bolt gun, hitting on a three. Wounding on a four. Your four up save. Four up. Yay. Rav. You uh, finally killed that squad. I killed that squad. For the second time. Yeah. Uh, Punisher is now going to dump everything into the Stalker. All right. Here comes the 40 shots from the Punisher. No longer have any command points to make it hitting on threes, though. 
Okay, hitting on fours. Actually, look pretty good. Yeah. 13 misses. Can't argue. Wounding on fives now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten total wounds. Alrighty then. So, ten three ups then. Looks like two, two damage. 2d3 plasma cannon shots, I will not be supercharging. Oh. So, 2d3. So, a total of five. I think the highest I've gotten on this. Ooh, uh, hitting on fours? I apparently do. <laughs> and I'm strength seven versus your tough of seven, I do believe. I think so, yes. Took out your commander. So, fours to wound. Two. And it's still AP minus three. Oh, so. Six ups. Yeah, six ups. Yep. And they go through, and they're only one damage a piece at ah. this point. There we go. So four damage. Three heavy bolter rounds, or shots, hitting on fours, wounding on fives, one with an AP minus one. Four up. Yep, yeah, made it. Gonna put these guys, this, all of its shots back into that. So start off with the 2d6 number of multi-missile, multi-rocket shots. Eight. I am, however, only hitting on fives at this moment. Mm, three hits. Rockets are only strength five, so five to wound. One with an AP minus one. One, four up. Nope. Take another damage. Three multi-laser shots hitting on fives. One. Strength six, so fives to wound. Hey, three up. No AP. Three up. You made it. Okay, so that's all of these guys done. The heavy weapons teams are going to fire their six shots into the stalker as well. All right. Six shots hitting on fours, rerolling ones. Rolling one. Five hits. Strength seven, so four to win. Two with AP minus ones. Two four ups. Made it. Rolling good on your four ups. Okay, so that's them shooting the Hellhound now, going into the Ghost Arc. 2d6 number of Inferno shots. Six. It is strength six. I do believe you are tough seven. Yeah. So five to wound. Two with AP minus one. Two. I think I've got a four up save. So two five ups. Made one. One damage. Heavy bolter. Three shots hitting on fives. Is that it? Can your uh, dude with a pistol under there shoot at all? No, he's got like a 12 inch range at max. All right. All right, uh, that's it for shooting. Charges to declare my tank going in. Okay, in that case, my Overwatch. All right, so Overwatch, uh, 20 shots hitting on sixes. I got three, three is... Yeah, three. Okay. Wounding on fives. One. One four. Get it. Mm. Oh no. Charge distance. I think you made it. <laughs> What's with you and the, that back it up charge? Uh, so you fall back this way, it's a little bit more awkward for you. Meh. That's about it. All right. Um, your attacks then, or attack? Yeah, I have three. Hitting on uh, sixes. Hey, 
Strike six, so I'm still looking for a five to wound. Hey, your armor save. Four up, oh, yeah, four up. Nope. Okay, so my attack's back. Hitting on sixes with three dice. Nope. And no one else is in melee. Yep. So that is the end of my four. On to my four. Alright, so movement for Necron's turn four. Had the Treyarch Stalker and the Warlord move up just a little bit. The Warriors moved up and advanced, and the Immortals moved up and advanced. Then the Ghost Ark um, fell back, moved over here to get a bunch of shots into this heavy weapons team, hopefully getting rid of them. And the end off movement phase, I've got to roll for a group of Necron Warriors, my Cryptek, and the Death Marks. So let's go with the Warriors first. One, 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 one. Damn. The Cryptek. He's back. Death Marks. They're no, back. they're not back. Um, I'll put those down, show them where you, they landed, and then on to shooting. Here they are, just all nice and neat at my table edge. Uh, ready to start moving up on my next turn. On to shooting. I'm going to have the Treyarch Stalker fire both its shots at the tank there. Hitting on threes. Fours. Didn't matter. Didn't, more, didn't matter. Didn't oh yeah, because it, it moved. Sorry, my bad. And wounding on threes. Threes. Your strength nine. Both hit. Or both wounded. Your AP4, so you go through my three up. Alright, so in that case, uh, 2d6 damage. The most common result <sighs> of 2d6. God. Cod damn it. Fish damn it. Um, I'm not in any kind of range for the Overlord to hit anything with. Yeah. Uh, they're not in. Let me check. They, they advance. They can't. These guys have assault weapons, so they can. Let me measure it out. All right, so I, it can get all five shooting at that tank. So five shots hitting on fours. Missed three. Wounding on, should be what, five? Yeah. Okay. Two possible wounds. Two three up saves. One damage. Sweet. I'm nicking away at him. And that is the end of my turn. I'm wrong. There's the Ghost Ark right there. I'm going to shoot all into this weapons group. Uh, ten shots at a time because that's what I picked up. Hitting on threes. Fours. Fours because they have Shroud. So I literally I'm... didn't make a difference for that volley. No. Still five hits. Yep. Yep. Five hits. Second volley. It saved one hit. <laughs> there you go. So it hit 12 times. Yeah, not bad. Wounding on threes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven possible wounds. This is pretty much going to be. The end of these guys. That'll be seven six ups. No, sorry, seven five ups because I still have the building. Never mind. Three damage. So that will be one base and one extra damage. Good saves. Yep. Now is the end of my turn. On to your turn five. Hopefully the. <laughs> oh dear God! Hopefully oh. the end. Movement for turn five for the guard. Dropped it down into hover mode, turned it around, flew up 19 inches, disembarked the 
uh, Inquisitor part of the way through. Moved him over. The um, tank stayed put. Stayed put, stayed put, stayed put. Even, yeah. Uh, heavy weapons team stayed put. The two guys underneath stayed put. Tank pressed forward. Fair enough. And it's now on to psychic time. Uh, he's going to go ahead and smite. Ah. N enough for the baby version. D3 damage. One. Oh, well. The astropath is going to, once again, put nitro out on the heavy weapons team. All right. Hey, I think he actually failed it. All right, so that's it for psychic. On to orders. Take aim on the heavy weapons team. Take aim on them, and then through the Vokcaster. Uh, first rank, second rank. Cool. On to shooting. Uh, I'm going to start off with the Punisher tank. Firing into the Stalker. All right, with your 40 dice. Okay, 40 shots from the Punisher cannon into the Stalker. You're hitting on fours. This was a five. Eleven misses. That's not terrible. And then fives to wound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wounds. Three ups. Failed two. Yep. So it takes two. Heavy bolter. All right. Three shots, hitting on fives. I'm sorry, fours. Wounding on fives. One, with an AP minus one. Five up, or four up. Yeah, four up, but I got a six, so. Anyway, the two plasma cannons now going in. I will not supercharge. Oh. The D3 number of shots each. There you go. Six. Hitting on fours. Two. And that's... Wounding on threes. Yes, wounding on threes because we realized tough six, tough six, not sevens. Yes. So, that's two with AP minus three, so two six ups. Nope. Two more. And they're just, yeah, one damage piece at this point. All right. Okay. Uh, how many wounds does that thing have? Uh, I believe 12. Let me check. Next, I'll have the Valkyrie go, firing all the shots into the Stalker. Three multi-laser shots hitting on fours. And wounding on fours. One with a three-up save. Three up. Okay, multi-rocket pod. Nine to D6 each. Eight shots. Eight shots, hitting on fours. Five hits. Wounding on fives. All right, that's two with an AP minus one. All right, so that'd be two, two four-ups. Four ups. And down he goes. Yep, that Does is he a dead stalker. Does he explode? Six, no. Okay, uh, next I'm going to have all these guys go, including the um, Inquisitor. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight Laskins. Who are they firing at, Tom? They're going to go into your Warlord. Fair enough. Okay, 16 Lasgun rounds going into the Overlord, hitting on fours. Seven misses. And then fives to wound. One. <laughs> Three up. Nope. Hey. Wait. Don't I have a four up invul? Yeah, but you have a three up armor, which is better. You're right. Crack grenade. Yeah. Hitting on a four. <sighs> it's worth it. Worth it, Tarai. The last pistol's out of range, so moving on to him, he's going to fire his bolter. One shot hitting on a three. New. 
Okay, jumping up to the command squad up here. They're all going to fire their shots down into him. So the two last guns hitting on threes. No. The sniper hitting on a three. No. The plasma, which I'm not going to supercharge because of just the way I've been rolling. No, I have... Uh, I have take aim, which are rerolls ones. Uh, I'm not going to go back for the other ones. I will supercharge it. Hitting on a three, rerolling ones. Hey, I hit. I'm strength eight, so I'm wounding on a three. The bolt gun going down into them. One shot, hitting on a three. Uh, wounding on a five, because you're tough five. No. All right. Heavy weapons team. Uh, we'll put their rounds into that. All right. Four shots hitting on uh, fours. We're rolling ones because of take aim. We're rolling the one one for one extra hit. Strength seven, so I'll need threes to wound. Two wounds with an AP minus one. All right, so that's two five ups. And they do two damage each. So that's that four damage. Two las pistols. <laughs> one from the astropath, one from the dude. Uh, they're both hitting on threes. Both wounding on. They're both wounding on sixes. Nothing. Okay, Hellhound is the last to go. Let's go put all the shots into them. All right. Two d six number of infernal rounds. Eight. Those auto hit, so I'm looking for threes to wound because it's strength six. Okay, and AP minus one. So we have three that have three ups. We want to pull from them first. Yeah. How many shots actually hit? Six. Or, so let's do three at a time then for now. Mm hmm So three ups. Three three ups to start off. They all uh, die. They all die. And three four ups. They, they all, all die. die. And my heavy bolter just shoots into the air because I said everything into that unit. <laughs> that was a thorough barbecuing of metal. Absolutely. Just whoosh. I know that is. That is it. That is the last things I have to shoot. No one's charging unless you want to charge with your vehicle. Uh, Bring I, it. I need a, eight, um, a nine to make it into melee, so... A nine to make into base, eight will get me within one inch. Yep. So yes, I will declare a charge with the hovering vehicle. Okay, I will Overwatch. declare an Overwatch with my three dice. Two dice hitting on sixes. One. I'm tough six or seven, so you need a five. All right. Hey. I got a five. Five up safe. That's including the AP minus two. Yeah, it's a three base. Okay. Okay. And eight will bring me in close enough. And I didn't. I got a four. Okay. In that case, on to my turn five. Vano's yes. turn five. So Necron movement had this whole group move up, had these two groups meet them, meet each other around the middle area. Ghost Ark didn't move. And now that it is close to the end of movement phase, I'm going to remember that I've got Veil of Darkness on my Overlord and use that. And this whole group is going to go away and land over behind the Ghost Ark. So that's going to happen, but before I move all them, um, continuing advance or yeah, whatever it's called, sustained assault. sustained assault. So first off, I'm going to try and get my uh, Triarch Stalker back on a four up. Ooh. No, the actually new dice. Why not? Death marks. Death marks. Yes. They come back. And the immortals. immortals. They, they come back. Very good. That is very good. And I'll throw all those uh, models where they need to be. Here they are, all ready to shoot the crap out of that flyer. Mm -hmm. Hopefully bringing it down this turn. 
This group has landed here after their uh, teleportation and on the shooting. So while I'm here, might as well start this. Ghost Dark into the heavy weapons squad. Going for a 10 at a time, hitting on threes. Four is your half damage. I am, you're correct. Sorry about that. I don't think it made any difference yet anyway. It didn't, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hits. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Giving Yes. Wounding on threes. Wounding on threes. I missed. There we go, oh, four. Only four. But they're all four are sixes. Yeah. If only that mattered. All right, that's four or five ups, which is the one guy that's injured, dead, and one wound on the remaining guy. All right. Yay, cover. Oh, I did that backwards. Oh, well, he's still the closest to you guys. Yeah. Um, next, I'm going to have my Overlord fire. Is three shots into the weapons team. Do I want to do it that way? You can divide up your warrior shots afterwards. True. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, why not? So three shots hitting on twos. Two hit. Wounding on threes. Wounding on threes. Two wound. AP minus two. two. So the five up becomes a seven up plus one for being in cover, so six ups. <laughs> oh, come on! Boxcars! <laughs> <laughs> well he done. Heavy Weapons team is alive and still the closest model uh, for those warriors to have to dump all their shots into. Uh, My two characters live for another turn! Damn it! I'm going to have five warriors shoot at this last guy here, okay. and the rest of the five... I can't split that up. Can't I can't. You can't target the characters. My heavy weapons uh, team still being alive is the closest one. You can shoot some I, shots I'm at gonna, the I'm going to shoot five at the tank. Yeah, there you go. Here we go, hitting on threes. Two. Uh, wounding on fives. One. One, four up. Yay! And the ten shots going into the heavy weapons team. Let's do this. Let's kill it. Hitting on threes. Eh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wounding on threes. That is four sixes, a five, and two threes. He'd better be dead. No. No. All right. Five up save. Minus one, plus one. Oh, yeah, he's super dead. Five, five failed. Yeah. But, yay. <laughs> Didn't oh. shoot at my characters. Damn it. So close. All right, now into that group of uh, my army over there. All right, so starting off this volley with my cryptic, firing his three shots into the flyer, hitting on threes, two, two hits. hits, wounding on... Uh, he's strength five, I am tough... Six? Seven. So that would be fives? Yeah. Nope. No. Next, I'm going to have all of my warriors here, shooting the flyer, 20 shots, hitting on threes. You are hovering, right? Yeah, I'm hovering. Okay. I'm just gonna... Okay, that's a five. So one, two, three. Easier to pull the four. misses. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 14 hits, moving on fives. Moving on fives. Three. Three. 
three four saves, one damage. All right. Next, I'm gonna have my immortals. Ten shots. Yep. Ten shots hitting on threes. Yes. Got three sixes and one miss. Which was right here. Wounding on still fives. Yes. So, three. Again. Yeah. One, two, and three. Sad face. And no AP on this, so three up saves. Another damage. I'm piddling it. And now you're immortals with only five shots. Not immortals. Death. Bought marks. Fuck, there's too many things with death in their name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're five shots. Which they're, if I remember correctly, not too good at vehicles. vehicles. So, five shots hitting on threes. Three hits. Alright. Wounding on still fives. Hey, they got two. Uh, I think you're doing mortal wound. Ooh, yes, sixes. And then two three-ups, which I make. So they, they did one damage. All right, and... Oh, yeah, because six is an extra mortal wound. Yeah, in addition to its normal whatever. Sweet. And that's all of my shooting. I'm not... I don't have any kind of charges to declare. Yeah. Because... Yeah, why not? So that hopefully brings us to the conclusion of this game. All we have to do is roll and find out mm -hmm. if this ends at the end of five. Do, would you like to do it or shall I? You'll lose if it ends, so... All right. So here we go. So on a, what, on a one? One or two, the game ends. On a one or two, the game ends. Turn six. six. After we did that roll off... Uh, to see it, that the game continues. We thought about it for a bit and just kind of analyzed the field as it is right mm -hmm. now and, and tactics we're going to do. I'm going to switch to a it's the last two turns, it's going to end at any moment, flee to the corners. I need one model alive to win for yep. this game mode. Which is more than likely going to be the flyer. The flyer has 30 inch movement and fly. I can actually flat out and go into the corner. The tank, the hellhound flees into the corner as well. Because then you're not going to be able to chase everything. Yeah, it's got um, like an eight to ten inch move, but that you're still going to out maneuver yeah, me. Gonna go, I'm, I'm going to make you waste time chasing them as other things fall back into the other corners and bunker up. Mainly, this is going to be the hardest thing for you to kill because that's a character with a two up save surrounded by dudes that are going to have a like a four up save anyway, and yeah. they can heal their own wounds. So. I'm confident in getting through that building in this next turn. Yeah, finishing off the two characters. But going from there to getting that group, to getting both tanks, to getting that group. Because it's going to require that grouping to hunt those two vehicles, because they're going to be the only ones in that corner. Absolutely. And these guys are too far away to foot slog up. And they're too slow. Yeah. Even if you got an 11-inch move with a good advance, that means the warriors are going to be in turn to fire on turn 7. There's no way they can kill the 10-man squad with the character still hidden in it. Yeah, maybe if I had some Tomb Blades or something at, like, some mm -hmm. Wraiths, Canoptic Wraiths. Yeah. But as of right now, I more likely than not cannot uh, table it. Tom and yeah. win. So I'm going to GG. This was an interesting and long game, and we should start this type of game a lot earlier in the day next time. This game, For reference, it is 11. 11.30. Something along that line. Uh, that's p.m. We started around... 10.30 in the 10, morning? 10 in the morning. Yeah. Well, we had... Well, we did, there was stuff that happened in between, but... It's almost a 12-hour-ish game and stuff like that. We yeah. ate and took breaks, too. But oh, It was fun. I enjoyed it. This is the game that never... It'd be interesting to see the guard do an attack on this. Yeah. I feel like that game would have gone quicker. I feel like you're correct. With suicide runs with the Valkyrie, just dropping troops, just oh, going the full that, distance. That would be your gopher. 
Because it can go its full fly speed and still grab shoot anywhere along its movement. Just the units, any uh, ones the model is slain. Yeah. So fly 45 inches over, drop a squad casualties, who cares? They're going to charge in and tie something up, turn around, fly back, pick up another unit, possibly the same unit. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this game. I hope everyone enjoyed. Have a good one. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Click the like and subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment down below and catch you next time.